Hey everybody, it's Chris from Out West with Chris, and today I'm coming at you with a really kind of a cool unboxing. This one I am really excited about. I guess you kind of call it uh, an unboxing slash product reveal. One thing that I think is pretty cool about BattleBox is that, you know, they went ahead and set up a forum, BattleBoxForum.com, and it's become a pretty cool little spot to, to gather, you know, for subscribers of BattleBox and just people that are kind of survival minded to get together and chat about different topics, whether it's the contents of the boxes, um, you know, how to, how to use something, you know, people post pictures and you know demonstrations of how they've used it and a lot of other cool stuff the coolest thing about it is the people on there there's some really you know cool people lots of veterans um, lots of people that have knowledge in bushcraft lots of outdoors types folks and a really cool community one guy that I've you know come to to meet through the forums is Gray Fox and Gray Fox has a YouTube channel and a little company that he and his uh, wife Vixen uh, that's what she goes by on the YouTubes uh, run together and they do some pretty cool stuff and one of the things that just came up recently was that the two of them are starting to make custom throwing axes or custom axes. So naturally I was interested and I went ahead and contacted Gray Fox through the forums and he was running a deal for forum members where he was just given a killer deal on these axes and yeah I, I picked one up and it just got here today so I'm gonna do a little unboxing of this thing let's do it I'm really excited about this the pictures I've seen him post on Instagram um, and on the forums of other people's boxes and the feedback that other people have been given has been pretty cool. So, all right, he's got um, got a little information in here. Let me read it really quick. You just purchased a one-of-a-kind Trailhawk from Fly, Sly Fox Tactical. Each and every Trailhawk is hand-built and finished to a very particular set of specifications. This piece, if cared for, should last you a lifetime. However, we know things happen and you may damage your piece. If this happens, send it back to Sly Fox, eh, Sly Fox Tactical and we will make it good as new and all you pay for is the parts and shipping as long as you, the original owner, are the one sending the accent. Um, with that said, if you modify, abuse, or change the profile of the edge, you are on your own. The edges on these axes are one of the things that makes them so special. I've spent years trying to create the perfect edge that can take abuse and still remain sharp. An edge that will bite extremely well, yet will do the finer tasks like making feather branches. He goes into some of the information about sharpening the blade. He also says we are heavily invested in each piece and they are all made with three basic principles in mind. Would I be proud to carry this axe? Could I rely on this axe in a survival situation? Could I defend myself and the ones I love with this axe? If the axe doesn't meet those standards, it is scrapped with no exceptions. All right, and it says from Gray Fox and Vixen on the bottom. So, you know, these two are doing this and it, they're putting a lot of time and effort into these axes and they're all custom builds. There are a ton of different options that you can go with when you are you know working with them on what you're looking for I kinda let Gray Fox do his thing and I said I'm looking for something rustic and that's about all I told them so I'm excited to see what I got right here in this box it comes packaged really well look at that Oh, jeez, this is awesome. I'm like a kid in a candy store. This is so cool. Oh, the weight on this is just amazing. Oh, look at this. Comes with a sheath for the axe blade. Oh, wow. 
This is cool. And it is sharp, sharp, sharp. So this is it. So he puts this custom cord wrap on here and it serves a couple different functions. When you're using it as a throwing axe, the, the wraps around um, help you kind of judge where to hold, where to grip the axe at when you're throwing it. It's like when you're throwing a football, the laces, you know, if you throw a football a lot, you kind of know where you need your hand for, you know, throw a good accurate pass, right? Same thing if you might need to chuck it a little bit further, you might move your hand forward or back a little bit, that type of thing. Um, that's kind of the same principle with, with the, the cordage right here. They're hand wrapped, um, they come with this little through hole, and the, the purpose on that is, you know, if you're just using the axe for like, you know, stuff around your camp or what, what have you, you know, you could put this on so you don't lose hold of it. But then if you go to throw it, if you're just throwing it, you know, that type of thing, you pull it through so that it doesn't, you know, possibly snag a finger or something like that when you're throwing it. Um, and then, whew, Gray Fox say, the way he looks at this is, he almost looks at it like functional art, you know? So I'm not really doing a review with this because, you know, you need to spend some time with something before you go review it, in my opinion. Um, I just wanted to share this with you guys and yeah, give you my initial thoughts on it. And my initial thoughts are, this thing is a piece of art. I mean, it's just really cool, gorgeous. I'm glad that I own it. Part of me wants to, you know, take it and hang it up on a wall <laughs> somehow, you know, as like a centerpiece decoration type deal. But I also really want to use it. So I'm probably gonna do, maybe I'll do both, who knows. All right, so let's take a look at the axe uh, a little bit more detail. So with the axe head itself, Gray Fox gets these from Cold Steel and you know, he modifies them after that. So basically with each one, he takes the head and makes sure it's balanced correctly. Um, so he'll make changes to it. I guess, you know, usually there's a, a screw uh, screwed into this little hole uh, into the handle for, you know, keeping it secure, I guess. Uh, but he takes that out so that it's balanced a little bit better. Um, modifies it, might grind some sections off, um, you know, that type of thing to, to get the balance that he would like for uh, an ax that he's gonna throw and use for bushcraft purposes. He also can put the, a different finish on it. So, you know, it's totally customizable. You know, he'll work with you for what you're looking for. I asked for something rustic, and in my eyes, this is what I got. I mean, it's rustic. It's very nice. He's got a bunch of different types of finishes. The rustic finish, a zebra finish, a brush finish, high polish, and then some custom ones. And I've seen some of the custom ones that he's done, and they look really cool. So, you can also engrave. Um, different parts. I, I don't know all the details on that. If you have something you might want engraved. I did see a, an axe head that had the had USMC engraved on it that looked pretty cool. So there's a lot of different stuff. And probably the most important thing that he does is he completely reprofiles the edge. I don't know if you can see on here, but he gives it uh, a whole new grind so that it's nice and sharp, uh, but durable at the same time. So he takes their product, modifies it a little bit the way he wants it. I don't know if you can hear that folks, but that's the sound of sharpness right there. I mean, that is sharp. That's, uh, that's the ax head, you know, pretty cool stuff if you ask me. Um, Puts a lot of detail, a lot of work goes into these, you can tell. So you get a functional ax head um, that you can use to, to throw. You can use it for bushcraft type stuff. I mean, you know, if you needed to, you could use this side as a, a hammer or if you just wanna hit somebody with it, that would hurt. Um, so lots of usefulness in this ax head. It fits, it's seated very securely. Um, feels really good actually. The handles, let's talk about the handle now. 
This is a pretty long handle. Um, when I hold it, I notice it's nice and light, even though it's long. And Gray Fox over at Sly Fox Tactical, um, all of, he makes all of the handles from hickory. So these are all hickory handles. He hand picks the handles and bases uh, his criteria on, you know, aesthetics, but also the direction of the grain. Other factors that'll help him decide whether or not it's gonna be a good solid ax handle. So the hickory is nice and light, but also pretty strong. And he does a, a custom notch up here at this handle. I don't know if you can see it, but he notches this where the head will seat against, uh, so it just makes it nice and secure. He also pressure fits um, all of the ax heads doesn't use a bolt or a screw or anything right here. So he feels like, you know, that's gonna give it the best balance and the best fit. So I'm gonna go with him. He's the pro, I'm not. I'm definitely not a pro at this stuff. So he also has a lot of different um, colors available for the handles. You can get uh, mahogany, you can get a light oak, a dark oak, red mahogany, natural color, cherry wood, ebony, and I've seen some custom ones that he's done that look really cool. So, you know, the guy really does a great job. The guy and his, his wife, of course, uh, Vixen. They do a great job. And from what I've heard, Vixen does most of the wrapping on these. The wrap is comprised of about 20 inches of paracord on each one. And he calls it a, uh, a spindle pattern, I guess. And the reason why he does it, like I mentioned before, is for hand placement, so that your hand, you can get some memory, muscle memory and texture memory of where your hand needs to be for an accurate throw and just for a comfortable grip. So he also, um, you know, like I mentioned before, has this really kind of cool process for the, the wrist wrap where it can be kind of eliminated in a way by pulling that out. And if you want the wrist wrap, you just pull it back in and it's not gonna go anywhere. You're not gonna pull it through the hole. Um, nice secure way of having a, a wrist wrap. But when you don't want that wrist wrap, you can just pull it right through. Pretty slick. As far as the paracord goes, you know, that's a pretty cool pattern. I like that. It fits this ax and the ax handle really well, in my opinion. But as far as customization goes, man, it's paracord. So the options are pretty limitless as far as the, the color of the wrap goes. You know, if you have something in mind, just throw it out there. Or you can do like I did and just say, hey dude, do what you gotta do. I want something rustic looking, surprise me. And like I said before, I'm happily surprised. This is really, really nice. So over on his website, there are quite a few different options for the axes. A standard axe is gonna be 100 bucks. And like I you know, read in the letter from Gray Fox and Vixen, if you take care of this, this is gonna last a lifetime. And it sounds like you know, if, if you get something damaged, he'll, he'll help, he'll work with you to replace it. You know, you might have to pay for some parts or whatever, but um, definitely gonna be there to back things up. Oh man, I can't get over how beautiful this thing is and I'm really excited to, to actually use it, put it through its paces, throw it a little bit, you know, practice with it and hopefully I won't ding it up too much but, you know, with each ding probably, you know, be a little bit of character as well. So that's pretty cool. All right, everybody, that's gonna wrap it up for me. I can't wait to take this thing out to the great outdoors and mess around with it test it out. So here probably in a few months, you might see a review of the product, a real product review um, and some demonstration stuff with it too. So stay tuned for that. Thank you, Gray Fox. Thank you, Vixen. I really, really appreciate this. I know a lot of work went into this and I can appreciate that. This is a very, very cool uh, piece of functional art and an ax. So uh, it's gorgeous. I can't wait to play with it a little bit. So if you're interested in one of these, I am going to put links to Sly Fox Tactical website, Instagram, Twitter, and of course their YouTube channel where he goes over some details of this and, and some throwing of it as well. It's got a couple cool videos, throwing axe videos. 
and you can hunt them down. Well, that's all for me, everybody. If you liked the video, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe. And as always, thanks for getting out west with Chris. Thank you.